Hey everyone, this is Illuminati, and this is another video uh, request from a YouTube uh, viewer. Uh, today we're going to work on a level up system. Now I already created uh, two uh, commands here. Uh, basically what it does, uh, it'll store the user experience, or uh, I guess the experience points that the command offer get, get, gains uh, when sending a message as well as a admin command that just kind of resets everything for testing purposes, uh, etc. So uh, basically for the uh, viewer to, uh, we made a command that says, uh, named it level, and we pretty much stored the member data as the uh, command offer and put a data name exp for experience we left the default value at zero and we stored it into a temp variable named user experience or user exp for experience and then for action number two we have uh, store member data once more so uh, technically I just cloned the first one and changed the data name to level and put the default value at 1 and store that temp variable into the variable name user level. And then for the third action, we have uh, a message that says uh, user current level experience and we put in the temp variable user experience in there and then for the next line we put user current level and we insert the temp variable user level. Uh, once that's created, click ex uh, edit action, and that's pretty much it for the uh, level command. Now this command will display to the user the current level uh, that the uh, user currently has, and as you can see my current experience is zero, and your uh, user current level is one. Now if I type anything here, it doesn't doesn't do anything. It'll still remain at uh, experience zero and level level one. Okay, so getting to the main part of this event, we're gonna switch over to the events tab. And uh, basically everything's gonna be handled uh, in in the uh, as an event in order to keep track of how much experience the user has gained. So for our very first, uh, we're gonna click on create new event and of course name it. Let's just name it level level says and the event trigger we're going to select any message sent and we're going to store those messages into uh, uh, we could just put a sent messages And we can go ahead and create an action. We're going to click the submenu. And we're going to go to store message info. So go down to messaging. And we're going to select the sent message as a temp variable. And for the source info, we're going to go to the message offer, and we're going to store that temp variable into a variable name user, and click on create action. And for our next command, we're going to click on create, and we're going to go to control member data and we're going to select the server member user for the data name we're going to put in exp for experience 
and we're going to select the control type to add value and we're going to give the experience points uh, let's just say two experience for every message that is sent and we click on create action and the next action we're going to store that info so we'll go to uh, here store number data and we're going to select the temp variable user and for the data name we're going to put level and it's going to keep track of the uh, of the level and sets it we're going to put it as level 1 being that the data still hasn't existed yet so the default value will always be level 1 of course and we can go ahead and store that temp variable into let's say um, user level and click on create action alright so then moving on for the fourth action we're going to click on create and we're going to check the member data uh, the experience uh, member data that we created so we go to conditions uh, actually uh, it's underneath here so it'll be check member data and for the uh, variable name we're going to select the user temp variable and for the data name, we're going to put experience, EXP for experience. And I always like working with greater than. Um, it just sounds uh, where equal has to uh, equal something. And greater than is just greater than or equal, equal to or greater than. So we're going to select the comparison type to greater than. And the value that we're going to compare it to. is going to be the user level so the user level of course being that it's uh, at, at one what we can go ahead and do let's just see if this works and it kind of looks a little weird here but here let's just make one less issue we have to worry about later um, <coughs> we can put it times five. So if the experience is greater than the level times five, we're going to create some actions that is going to raise or it's going to add one to the user's or uh, the user's select current level. So if true, we're going to select, we're going to leave it at continue actions and if false, we're just going to stop action, the action sequence. It's not going to run anything. So let's go ahead and click on the uh, create action. And for the next step, we're going to click on the, um, we can actually duplicate this control member data. Click on clone, move it to the bottom. We're going to pretty much leave the data name experience. We're going to put the set value to zero and click on edit action. So if it's true, if the, if the user's experience is greater than the current level times five, it'll continue the action, which in our case, it'll reset the experience back to zero and from there we're gonna go to duplicated and select control member data temp variable we're gonna use is gonna be the user server member for the data name, we're going to put level, and 
the control type we're going to switch to add value and we're going to put a value in of one and click on create action so for the next action we're going to go ahead and store the message info and um, I believe we already have one so we can yeah let's go up here just clone that scroll down and set message just to double check everything and we're going to actually switch the source info to message channel and for the temp variable we're going to change that user variable name into this channel and click on edit action now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to store the member data uh, we're going to of course use the same user temp variable and the uh, the level for the user so let's go here let's go to deprecated let's go remember data and we're going to select the user and for the data name we're going to put level and default value if it doesn't exist is going to be one and we're going to put the same user level variable name well we could have just duplicated here but it's a good idea to get used to how to use these commands um, so moving on along what we're going to do is we actually going to create an embed message um, now you can actually just click a put a send message and put in the uh, variables uh, letting them know that they have leveled up and that'll be pretty much it but kind of looks kind of cheesy so let's kind of dress this up a bit we're gonna click on create embed message and for the title we're gonna put uh, we have a leveler and then for the offer we're gonna put the person that just leveled up and if you remember we put it on member it's gonna show the member ID number but for here we're gonna add display name for the color let's put it gold let's use a timestamp on there and for the offer icon we can just uh, leave that empty uh, for the image URL um, we can just easily go and here perfect and copy link address screwed up on my uh, one of my previous videos I ended up putting the actual link instead of the GIF file and for the thumbnail uh, let's see what the other choices <laughs> it's hilarious <laughs> okay and so moving al moving along let's go ahead and put that as the thumbnail and click on create action and for the temp action we're gonna click on messaging and we're gonna put in a create embed description we're gonna use the temp variable uh, where are you uh, I never saved here let's go back to we have a leveler and we're gonna save that into level message embed and let's 
go to create and we can go to messaging put in a create embed description we're going to use the temp variable level message embed and for here we can put insert and we will use the user which is the server member has reached level and we can insert the user level like we're almost here on here so for our final action and should pretty much get it going we're gonna send that embed message and we're gonna select the embed message we want to send and we want to send it to the temp variable channel now um, if, if we just got to do one last editing uh, here, if you leave this as is, it's not going to work. I mean, it'll still level up, but it won't display the uh, the embed message. So what we're going to do is we're just going to remove all this stuff and just put channel in there and click on create action. So let's go ahead and uh, save this and let's give this a try. And just go ahead and run it. And let's just start typing and see what we have here. Hey, there we go. We leveled up. We have a leveler. Uh, Illuminati has reached level number two. <laughs> That's great. So as the user starts sending messages, it'll start gaining experience depending, you know, times five of the current level. So right now it'll be two experience points per message. And now that I reach level three, it'll be two times three times five would be with the next time that I would level up. So let's just go here. And woohoo, I'm a level four. Well, uh, that's pretty much it for creating a level system, uh, as well as kind of making it a look a little fancy. Uh, of course, there's a lot more stuff that you can add on to this. Um, so feel free to explore. The raw data is located in our page bin um, directory. So feel free to uh, just click on the link below and access that raw data. Feel free to join our communities on Steam underneath the Discord Bot Maker Game Dev Group as well as on Discord uh, joining our uh, community on Discord. All the links are in the description. Um, thanks for listening and watching and uh, click on that like and subscribe button. Thanks, have a good night.